Yo, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Jonah. I am back again with another video. Jonah TV War, another day at the studio. And also, a powerful, touching message. Okay, in this topic, y'all, I'm going to, in this message, this message right here for all your people who've been mistreated who had been abused, who had been used, you know, you have been raped, who have been molested, all kinds of stuff, y'all. I'm doing this message to, for all of you people, because I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. For all of you people, you know, you have been abused as a child, you're being mistreated as a kid. You be raped as a child, as a kid. You're being abused as a child and all of this stuff. This message is applied to you. I don't care how old you are. I don't care you young, old. I don't care what skin color you, okay? This goes with anybody, okay? I've been there, all right? I've been there. And I know how I feel, and you know how you feel, and I know how I feel. All right. And um, reason why I put this picture of me when I was a kid, you know, and you know what? Let me stop. This is me, y'all. I was sitting on a chair, um, crossing my legs. You know, I don't know why I'm crushing my legs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they got some girls. Girls be only women crush their legs, but they got some men crush his uh, crush his legs too, though. You know what I'm saying? But that that's me. I was smiling when I was a little kid. I think I was like um, ten years old. You know, I was like nine, ten years old. My mom took a picture of me. You know, and I was in Sacramento, California. Um, apartment, Whisper Pine apartment in South Sacramento. Yeah, you know, and and that's me when I was a kid. Okay, and and I'm a, uh, my mama, she she take care of me. You know, she brought me to this world. I don't have no father figure, but I do have a dad. You know, he wasn't there for me when I was a, a kid. You know, and he go in and out of jail, and you know, he met a other women. You know, um, it's my stepmom. You know, he got he got two kids. You know, I have a two step brother. You know what I'm saying? And you know, me, one of my brothers, both had the same dad and different moms. You know, but I have another brother on my mama's side. You know, I have a um, my brother named Enoch that was on my mama's side. You know, his daddy out here in California. You know, and I have another brother on my daddy's side is Darren L. So that means I got like four brothers. You know. And I got two brothers on my daddy's side and have a, uh, a one brother on my mama's side, you know. So that means that's my half brother. I don't have I don't have real brothers and sister, but I do have a sister. I have an oldest sister. She's the first baby. And I'm the second baby. And my brother's a third baby. So me, I'm the second baby, you know. And I will um tell you a little story about me what I'm been through okay and y'all just have to sit back relax um you know cut the TV off and grab your drink grab your popcorn and just sit down and hear my voice I'm gonna tell you a little story about myself I don't mind sharing I'm sharing to for anybody those who really love my videos and I'm sharing for one of my uh, one of my real followers, and I'm gonna tell you what's happening to me when I was a kid. But it's a sad story, but I'm gonna share with you what happened to me. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to tell you about myself. Let me start with my childhood. Okay. I was born New Orleans, Louisiana, the Chatty Hospital. I was born out there, you know, little raised out there, you know. Um, you know, my daddy seen me when I was a when I was a baby, he carried me, you know, that two was together, but now they broke up. Whatever going on, my daddy, um, you know, he hanged with, with his uncle. Um, hanged with, with my, my uncle, you know, and doing something got in business doing, you know. And my mama, she took me out of New Orleans, Louisiana. She took me out of New Orleans uh, on Clue. Okay, my mom, she used to stay living on Clue Street. Yeah, on Clue Street by the um, St. Claude or Grandpa Street. Okay. My, that's what mom used us to live in. Um, so my mom took me out of New Orleans and and, and bring um, bring me to Sacramento, California. I was like, mm, maybe I was like one month old. I, I don't re I don't remember how old I was, you know, and and I'm gonna tell you what happened to me. I being abused. But I've never been child molested. I don't remember. I've been molested before. I don't remember. If I, you know, all I remember, I've been abused before. My mom was abusing me real bad. She forced me uh, to read the Bible. And she, you know, she teached me how to read and write because, you know, I have a, you know, defect on my brain. You know, my mom would say I have a deaf attention disorder, something like that, you know. And deaf attention disorder is like, you know, like you have a problem listening. You probably understand what people are saying, but you know, but I'm still smart. I'm not dumb and stupid, you know, but I'm in special ed, you know, but I'm not retarded though, you know, I got, I got plenty more sense, you know, I have a knowledge, you know, that's what gives for the most high. You know, the Most High just gave me a lot of gifts to play the piano, to play the drum set. You know, I used to draw. I used to be an artist. You know, I like I like to catch in buses. I like to travel. You know, and I like music. I like smooth jazz. I like uh, bounce music. But now was now was like 14 years old. You know, I grew up with New Orleans bounce music when I was 14, but. And I was in California. I don't know nothing about bounce music, but anyway, anyway, um, my mom was abusing me. You know, every time I mess up, I get a whooping. You know, I get smack on the mouth, and you know, and me personally, I I I I did I did something bad in my past. I used to pull the white dude's hair. I used to cut them in school. Kissing people, I shouldn't nostal, you know. I doing all kind of un, un, ungodly stuff, you know. You are doing something you ain't got no doing. You was a kid, you know. You kiss other kids in the mouth. You don't know what you be kissing, you know what I'm saying? And now, and I was like ten years old, you know. Me and my mama and my little brother was visiting New Orleans. And I'll visit New Orleans, you know, visit my family. You know, I got a lot of family in New Orleans. You know, I got a lot of cousins, aunties, you know, and I got I got family on my mama's side and my daddy's side. But I got more cousin, more relative in Atlanta, Georgia, all over the country, you know, it's all over the city, you know. And what happened to me, I've been abused. My uncle, my mama, baby brother, his name is Kenny Carew, Kenny Carew, and he was abusing me real bad. He he whipped me with a switch, cussed me out, called me on my names, and every time I go by my grandma house in New Orleans on Urquhart Street, you know, every time I eat in the kitchen, every time I go in the kitchen and eat, you know, and I put my dishes on the on the dish, and my uncle he just been rude. Rude to me like I never been rude before. You know what I'm saying? He tell me, 
you wash the dishes. He 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 say all kind of stuff to me. Like he's it's like a threat to me. You know what I'm saying? I say, where you going? Wash that eff of dishes. If you don't wash the eff of dishes, I'm gonna bust your ass. He, you know what I'm saying? He cussed me out. I, I was scared. You know what I'm saying? And I really don't like my uncle. I really don't. I hate I hate my uncle so much. And I was a kid. I hate my uncle. You know what I'm saying? I was about to hurt that dude. I was about to uh, get a frying pan and start hurt them. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the other day, you know, he was abusing me. He hit me with a switch. You know what I'm saying? Because I be, uh, you know, running to my mama. Uh, you know, I be running to my mama, and he, he, you know, he told me to sit down and all that stuff. And he get the cowboy switch. He start whip me in my butt, in my back, in my chest, everything. The cowboy switch, like it's a powerful switch. Like you hit the hearts, make a hearts run or something. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. He hit me with a switch. It hurt as hell, and I was about to call the police. And he, he, and he kept on with me, keep on with me, because I was trying to call the police and everybody trying to stop me. My mom and my grandma trying to stop me to call the police on my uncle because my uncle is meant to abuse me. You know, it happened to me when I was in New Orleans, and it happened to me when I was in Sacramento, California. You know, and. Another story is, you know, some of y'all questions say, well, Jonah, when that happened, what year when that happened? I'm so glad you asked. It happened at least like 1995. It got to be 1996 or something. I think it's 1996 or 1997. I'm not really sure about it. But I remember what year, 1996 or 1997 or something. Okay. My brother was born 1994. You know, um... Uh, you know, his birthday on the 20th, you know, but, and I was in New Orleans. I mean, I was in Sacramento, California. I heard about my grandma kick him out, kick, kick Kenny out, you know, and, and he want to stay with my mama. You know, that's his, that's his oldest sister. He lit, uh, his oldest sister, you know, and, you know, I used to, I used to love my uncle, but I really hating him. You know what I'm saying? Every time. I, every time I did something bad, I don't know, I don't remember what I done, you know what I'm saying? Because I get into a lot of trouble sometimes. I get into, get into a lot of trouble sometimes. I be crying. I, I used to follow my feelings and my emotional, you know what I'm saying? And my friends don't want to be my friend. I used to cry. I used to beat on them and, you know what I'm saying? I was, you know, I was throw off when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? And I look at the window. You know, I like to look at the trees. I like when hit the tree. You know, he told me, get out the window. Get your effort out the window for I bust your head. You know what I'm saying? And I look at him. I don't remember I say I hate him. You know what I'm saying? I used to scare of my uncle. I got fear. I got a lot of fear on me, man. You know what I'm saying? My uncle put fear on me. He said, why are you, why are you, why are you always afraid of me? You know I'm your uncle. You know why you're afraid of me. You better not be afraid. If you be afraid of me, I'ma bust your ass. And I say, I hate you, uncle. I wish you leave. And you know, start abusing me. You know, and he pushed me in the bed. He pushed me in the bed, and he start knocking me out. And and I'm trying to fight back. And you know, I trying to fight back. I swing at him, and he pushed me back in the bed so hard. You know, and, and and he told me, and he told me say something, say say something else. I'm going to the kitchen get a hot sauce, and I and you know you know I'm saying I'm calling the police. You put a hot sauce on me, and he go out there go in the kitchen get a hot sauce and put on my face and put on my eyes in my in my mouth. You know I you know I don't like hot sauce, Louis. It's a Louisiana hot sauce. He put hot sauce in my eyes. I almost blind. I feel like <laughs> I feel like you know what I'm saying. My my whole skin was falling out or something. You know what I'm saying. He put hot sauce all over my face, my nose, and my eyeballs, and and my mama. She can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying. I was I was screaming my 
I was screaming my tail off. I was screaming, shouting, told me to shut up. If you don't shut up, I put more hot sauce in my face. I put more hot sauce in my face. He told me shut up, and, and I'm shut up, you know. And and my mom, my mama tell me you're all right. I say leave me alone, mama. I hate you too. I, no, no, I said leave me alone, mama. You let you let the dude put his hands on me, and my mom tell me up. So I get a lot of whooping, it's getting worse and worse and worse. It happened to me when I was like 10, 11 years old. I was like 10 years old. It happened to me and I was in California. But New Orleans, it's, it's worse, you know what I'm saying? And I was visiting my family in New Orleans, you know, traveling on the Greyhound bus and going in and out, going in and out of New Orleans and then come back out here, you know. It's, it's, it's like, it's like, like, Three days to get to New Orleans, to Sacramento, three days on the Greyhound bus, you know. And I've been through a lot of views and, you know, it's crazy, man. It was crazy. And my mama can't, can't do nothing about that, you know what I'm saying? My mom had permission. Uh, her brother, her little brother, Chastised me. He whipped me worse than my mama. You know what I'm saying? He cussed me out, called me on my name, called me a punk, called me a uh, start a P. You know what I'm saying? Called me all type of names or something. You know what I'm saying? Now, I didn't. I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? And and if uh, some of y'all say, "Well, Jonah, have you been molested before?" Well, that's a good question. I don't. I don't know. I've been molested before. But all I know is my uncle, he trying to kiss me, you know what I'm saying? Give me a kiss, give me a kiss and all that stuff, you know? I, I don't remember. I, I remember he trying to trying to kiss me, but he not really do it to fall off, like, you know what I'm saying? But the good news is my uncle died. He died in 2008. He died for HIV because he mess around with different women's whatever he be doing. You know, it's in, it happened in New Orleans, you know. And, you know, 2008, you know, and I was visiting my grandma in New Orleans and I was living in San Antonio and went to this hospital. I don't know what's the name of the hospital. Um, me and my grandma, you know, see my uncle Kenny at the hospital. I ain't seen him a long time. You know, he was skinny. He was skinny, skinny. Look like he been turned to a skeleton, and it's just it's it's bad. It's bad. You know, and my grandma she didn't know what happened to him. You know, I don't know. You know. Grandma told me he got AIDS. He messing around with different women. You know, women don't even take bath, or women be messing around with a lot of men, all kinds of stuff. And see, this is what happened. You you fool around with women. You don't know who the women is. You you know what I'm saying? You fool around with women. You don't even know she had AIDS and and crabs and all this stuff though. You know what I mean? And, and he died. You know, I feel bad, but I feel like. I really don't care anymore because the way he did to me when I was a kid. I really don't care anymore, you know. I really don't care he died. But, and I was coming to the, the most highest kingdom. I got to do what I need to do. I had to forgive him. All the stuff he did to me, I had to forgive him. You know what I'm saying? If I don't forgive my uncle, the most high, Yah, he don't forgive me. That's what the scriptures say, you know. And, you know, you know, yes, I've been abused, man. I've, I've been, a, I've been a hell abused, you know. And my dad, he wasn't there for me. My dad didn't know what happened to me, you know. And, and me, my mama, and my little brother moved back to New Orleans on 1997. Or 1998, I think I believe 1997 or 1998. So we leave, we move out to Sacramento, move back to New Orleans, you know. And and I was like 12 years old, and I able to see my dad 
because I didn't see him. I never see him in my life because he wasn't there for me when I was a kid. He wasn't there for me what happened to me when I was a child. He didn't know what happened, you know. And I told my dad what happened to me and seems like he was upset, but he seemed like, I don't know, he seemed like he doesn't care or he seemed like, you know, he wasn't shot though, you know what I'm saying? He say, I say, well, I say, I say, yeah, he ain't put his hands on you right uh, no more because you with me, you know. My dad, he never, never come visit me when I was in Sacramento. You know, he was living in L.A. That's what he told me, you know. Well, that was a long story, though, you know. I know what I feel. I know what I feel, you know. And I know y'all being hurting. And based on something, someone done to you in your family, someone used you, someone molested you, someone raped you, someone abused you. I've been there. Okay, I've been there. Do you understand? I've been there. I already gave you a story what happened to me when I was a child. You know, my mama abused me. She whipped me. She forced me to read the Bible. She, you know what I'm saying? She forced me and my little brother to go in the closet and pray. Put the sheets around the head, you know what I'm saying? And she forced us to go in the church. And I really don't want to go in a church because the church is so boring. You know what I'm saying? But it does not mean that I don't want to follow the most high. You know what I'm saying? And I was living that lie. You know, I was living that lie because I thought Messiah was a white man. But in I coming up to like 20s and I listened to Tiario videos and do some researches, he was a black man. You know, but anyway, I've I been there, man. I've been there. Satan, I live they trying everything in his power to destroy me, destroying, uh, destroy the most high plan in, in my life. None of this stuff broke me. None of this stuff work. And I'm just, and I'm, and I'm just keeping real. All right. Trust me on this. And you listen to and you listen to one of my videos, listen to the brother Jonah TV War, you know. And seriously, you know, you listen to the brother named Jonah TV War about the stuff what I've been through when I was a kid, you know. So I know how I feel to be used. I know how I know how I feel, you know, to be abused. And maybe a child lesson, you know. I never been child molested. I don't remember. I think my uncle been child molesting me, trying to kiss me and all that stuff. I don't get down like that. You know, I know, I know how it feels. I know how I feel, man. I gone through all that stuff. I've I been through. I've been through a stone, man. I've been through a fire, man. You know, me personally, I I, I gone through all that stuff. And young young age, and I was a kid. You know, it, it just it just crazy, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It just crazy. It just realistic facts. It's life. It's life. Things happen. That things happen. And I'm doing this meshes to reach out. Whoever, whoever get this meshes, take it to heart. You know, this meshes to apply to. Let you know. This meshes is to let you know. That if the most high have a destiny and a plans for your life, nothing and no one can stop it. No one can stop it. It's touchable, right? It's powerful, man. I don't care who it is. I don't care what you've gone through. If the most high have a destiny and a plans for your life. Nobody can stop it. No demon from hell can stop it. Satan cannot stop it. I, I keep it real, man. And Satan tried to do everything to destroy me and mess me up. And, and guess what? And none of them work. 
and none of them work. None of them work, y'all. Okay, I've been there. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I've been abused. I've been molested, you know. You know, I'm I catching weapons. I'm catching punches. You know what I'm saying? I've been there, man. And I was a kid. And the crazy part about it, y'all. And when it happened to me, I basically, you know, kept it to myself. You know what I'm saying? I didn't call the police. For all of y'all people who are who and secretly and keep the things to yourself, you know how that feel. I kept things to myself. I kept things to myself. I didn't tell, you know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't, you know, I didn't tell my, all my family, you know, be honest with you, you know, I told my daddy, you know, I didn't tell one of my brothers, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't, I didn't tell my sister and, and my cousin. Yeah, I don't even tell one of my friends and even, even my, one of my girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't tell everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I kept things to myself. So I know how I feel. The holding on to things in your heart for years. And see, a lot of y'all people. You've been holding on to a lot of stuff you've been through in your, your heart for years. For years. I've been there, man. And me personally, man, I, I let it go. You know what I'm saying? Because I am not thinking about what happened to me in the past. I was even holding on too much. And not coming up, I let everything go. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. I've been there. Somebody rape you and somebody molest you. I've been there, man. I've been there. And you, and you hold it on to years, man. It's hard for you to let go. I know how it feels, man. You know what I'm saying? Even my sister, even, even my sister, man, she be holding on too much. She be holding on too much. She be holding on too much for years. I don't know. I don't even know my sister been been through a lot with her daddy because she, she was raised by her daddy, okay? Me, I ain't seen my sister I ain't never seen my sister before. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know I have a sister. I don't even know I have a sister because my mama raised me when I was in Sacramento, California, and and I didn't know my sister is the first child. You know what I'm saying? And you know my mama, she get a, uh, she give my, uh, she, <laughs> my mama, she give my sister to. Her, her daddy, you know what I'm saying? Her daddy was, was abused her, abused my mama, or whatever was going on, you know what I'm saying? And my mom called my sister a demon, whatever going on, I don't, you know what I'm saying? But it's a long story, I really don't want to talk about it. And I don't know what my sister been through, and I really don't know one of my brothers on my daddy's side been through, because all of us been through abuse, been molested and all that stuff. You know, my sister be hold on to things too much and I didn't know. And see, no one knows the secret pain is you feel and the and, and, and secret issue which you're dealing with because you're holding on in. I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I got abused by my uncle and my mama. You know what I mean? As a kid, you know what I'm saying? It happened to me for years, man. When I was a child, I've been I've been abused. You know what I'm saying? I've been in a fight, you know. And nobody knew what happened to me. Nobody knew. Even my father, even my daddy, and my grandpa, my grandma. News, a uh, 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 new me. What happened to me? And I was in California. Nobody know. Nobody knew. You know what I'm saying? Nobody know. I play the piano. You know what I'm saying? Nobody know. I like I draw because I used to be the artist. You know what I'm saying? I like draw Greyhound buses because I love buses. I don't know why. It is what it is. You know. 
You know me, I, 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 I listen to smooth jazz. I used to listen to rap, but you know I'm not into to no rap music about killing, killing all kind of stuff, talking about women as a bee and all that stuff. I'm not into that. I know, I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I, nobody know everything about me. You know what I'm saying? I like to draw. I used to be a, a very good artist. I like to play the piano. I like to play the uh, drum set. I like to play the guitar. You know what I'm saying? And I like to travel. You know what I'm saying? I like do things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like to, you know, walking around. I like to make friends. You know what I'm saying? I like all kinds of stuff. I like girlfriends and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I always be in a relationship with somebody. And I was scared people don't know everything about me, you know? I was chasing my dream. You know what I'm saying? I was chasing my dream. You know what I'm saying? I I like watch the movies. I like playing with toys. I like ride bicycle. You know what I'm saying? My dream is I wanna drive a car. That was my dream, but I never have a car. Because reason why I don't have a car because I was in chase in the dreams, but but I did. But I don't have a car. But I'm gonna get one one day. I'm gonna give me a driver license. I'm still gonna get it. But it took time. You know what I'm saying? People don't know nothing about me. You know what I'm saying? I like to fight. Well, actually, I, you know, I like to do karate. I like to do all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I chasing my dream. You know what I'm saying? I like play video games. All that stuff is super tender, and yet nobody knows. Nobody knows I was secretly being abused by my uncle and my mama. That's right. That's right. My uncle named Kenny Karut. That's that's my that's my uncle. That's my mama baby brother. Okay? But he died. He died. He died for um HIV or something like that. Cause he doing something he ain't got no business doing. You know, he fooled around with different women. He sh- he should not post him not to because you know, he must be messing around with prostitutes or he must be messing around with uh, dipes or, you know, hoes and dots, whatever he be doing. You know what I'm saying? Or they must be given to him or something. You know what I'm saying? He probably didn't know they gave him a AIDS and HIV or something, whatever going on. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the one he abusing me when I was a kid. You know, he abusing my brother too. That's not even enough, but he abusing me worse. You know what I'm saying? He with my brother, you know. My brother my brother like him and I don't like him. You know, even 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 my daddy don't like him. My daddy, he didn't know, he didn't know what happened to me because he was locked up the whole time. He was locked up or he was out and he was I don't know what he was he was doing, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, he didn't know what happened to me and I was a kid. And I was in abuse. Hell abuse. That's right. And the crazy about it, and I was a kid, and I didn't I didn't know what abuse means. You see, when I was a kid, I don't even know what abuse is because ain't nobody telling me. Even my own mama didn't tell me what his abuse is or what his uh, 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 molester is. I don't, I didn't, I didn't know how to spell it. You see, you got to understand this. I'm a kid. I don't know what the word means. I, 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 I really don't know how to spell uh, abuse and, and child molester. I don't know what a molester is when I was a kid. 
I, I don't know. I don't know what that meant when I was a kid. And I coming up, and and I know exactly what that means. And I coming up. You know, what I'm saying I got older. I start coming in the true knowledge of the Most High. You know, what I'm saying that's what the Most High revealing to me. Everything was going on. You know, what I'm saying, and I say, what well, for real? That's the truth. That's the truth. You know, the, the crazy body, I remember he was dying, okay? I was like 20. I was like, um, I was like, like, at least like 22 or 23 years old. He died in a hospital, you know, because, you know, my uncle, he had an AIDS and, you know, and, you know, and I look at my uncle, you know, me, me, me and my grandma went went to the hospital to see my uncle, and I and I sort to remember what he done to me when I was a kid. You know, it just makes me feel like I I don't I just feel like I don't forgive him, and I deserve to to deserve to die. And I remember what he did. To me when I was a kid and I started looking at the window and I say well I had to forgive him you know I used to hate him I used to hate my uncle I used to have a fight with them but I had to forgive him and now coming up come to the most high kingdom you know I gotta forgive him when I was a kid I don't know what forgive is and I was a child when I was like 10 to 12 years old, I don't even know what forgive is, you know? And I was a kid, you know, I, 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 I tell you guys, you know, I was slow mining, I was born with deaf attention disorder, you know, I didn't know everything about abuse and child molester when I was a kid, and I was, you know, I had a little problem in my life, you know, and but I'm, but I'm smart. But I'm smart. I don't care what people say about me. You know, I'm smart. I still gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? I know how to. I know how to count money. You know what I'm saying? I know how to budget money. I know how to do all that kind of stuff. You know. Now back to my uncle. I remember he would die. You know what I'm saying? And. I wasn't crying anything. I don't remember I was crying. I don't remember. But all I, all I remember, I wasn't even crying at all. I was a little sad. That's all I remember. I remember I visited my grandma in New Orleans. And I was living in San Antonio, Texas. You know what I'm saying? And I used to live out there in No. But, a, a, but Katrina hit. They, they brought me in Texas. You know? And I visit my hometown, you know, and I didn't know my uncle have have AIDS, you know. And he was he was skinny, his eyes getting big, you know, and it's it's it really bad, you know. I felt a little bad, but it happened to me. It, it happened in 2008 when he died, and. I didn't. I didn't went to his funeral. I didn't. I didn't went there. I didn't. I was in San Antonio and I was. Um, and I was at work. You know, cause I have a job and I was live out there in Texas. You know, you know. And I went back. And I went back to Texas. You know, and week later, I heard about he died. You know. I don't, I don't know who told me this, but my mama, I think my mama or someone tell me um, my uncle's dead, you know, and I was feel sad. I was about to cry, but I didn't cry. I just feel a little sad, you know, and that's all, that's all I remember, you know. Now, I remember I was a child. You know, I was living in an apartment with my mama, you know. 
My mama just raised me to be a Christian, you know. And, you know, she 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 forced me to read. You know, she wanted me to read books and, and write something, all kind of stuff. I remember when I was a kid, you know, and I really don't like to read and I really don't like to write. You know, you know, in my heart, I like to do it for fun. I like to play outside. I like roller skating. You know, I want to do everything for fun, but reading and writing is so boring. You know, but my mom was just, you know, abusing me, you know. And this happened to me a long time ago, you know. But anyway, San Antonio, and I was staying with my mama. Wait a minute. Now I was at now I was at my own crib. I was living a week in court project. I think I think my mama or my uncle, my other uncle told me my uncle died. And I said, wow. And and I, you know what I'm saying? I was feeling a little sad, but I wasn't crying. You know, I wasn't even caring anymore because I I because I ain't seen my uncle for 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 a year. You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't even hate my uncle. You know, coming up, I wasn't even hate my uncle. I don't have no anger in my heart towards him. You know what I'm saying? I had to forgive him. I don't hate him. Not even angry. Not even mad at what he did to me. And I coming up, you know what I'm saying? It started to change me and I coming up. You know, and, and every time I see my uncle, you know, I show him love, you know, and you know, just keep him company. Just say, hey uncle, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? And you know, I remember he used to come visit my mama, you know, we was live on Claybone, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I used to cool with him, you know what I'm saying? I used to cool with him sometimes, you know? I didn't hate my uncle, you know what I'm saying? And I was a child, I used to hate him so much, you know? But I'm not. But I know it's the devil using him trying to destroy me when I was a kid. And, and I forgive him. I'm not even angry or anything. It's just a simple thing that happened in my life. And I'm telling you this because a lot of your people in holding on to stuff. You got to let things go, y'all. You got to let things go. Whatever you've been through, man, all this stuff, you be holding on to stuff, this stuff that destroys you, man. It's time for y'all to let it go. Let, let go your anger. Let go. Let go. The home molested you. Let it go for those who, who rape you and molested you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go who, who, who abuse you, who beat you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I've been there. I've been there. Let me tell you something. If you don't let them go, let me tell you something. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to Jonah, okay? Listen to Jonah TV War. If you don't let things go, you're only hearing, you, you know what I'm saying? You're missing the most high plans in your life. You got to let it go. If you let it go, the most high have a plans for you. You got to let it go. You got to move on with the most high, man. You got to move on with the most high. You know what I'm saying? This is my testimony. This is my testimony. I, I, I reach all of y'all people, man. And y'all need to stop holding on on the crap. Because y'all y'all people holding on too much. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all holding on all that stuff you've been doing in the past. This stuff that just plays out. Just move forward. Let the most high have a special place in your life. And I wonder why you be angry so much and frustrated and you're bitter and you're jealous hearted, you know what I mean? And you're envious of other people. Let it go. You need to set yourself free. Y'all need freedom. You need to set yourself free. Because a lot of y'all people, and I gotta say it, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and a lot of y'all people, 
You know what I'm saying? You're ready for Nazarene to set you free. And, 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 and Nazarene, he's not going to set you free. You need to set yourself free. You got to let it go. The Nazarene did not dare for you. I'm just keeping it real. Nazarene, they're not going to set you free. You need to set yourself free. And you want, you want Nazarene to do everything for you. And, 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 and y'all, and, and it's crazy about it. You want, you want Christ to do everything for you. You know what I'm saying? Set yourself free. Because, because Nazarene, they're not going to hold along like your guys be doing. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't holding on like you guys do. You are. That means you need to set yourself free and let it go. I've been there. I've been there, man. I know how I feel, man. I know how I feel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know how I feel. I'm I being abused and I'm being used and I'm being, you know, uh, uh, child molester. I've been there, man. But me personally, I ain't never thought about it in the past, man. Because I let it go. Man, when the year 2018, I've been let it go. I've been let it go. I ain't never thought about what happened to me when I was a kid. I ain't never going back to past like this, man. Y'all did, man. Y'all thinking about some same old stuff. This just don't make no sense. And you want the most high to bless you. You're not going to get blessed till you let things go. The most high have a special plans in your life. Y'all people, you've been used by the people. I know how they feel. I know how they feel too. You understand? Seriously, you know what I'm saying? When I was a teenager, girls, liberty, they're trying to get with me for sex. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. I was a teenager, man. I was a teenager. It happened to me and I was in here. You know what I'm saying? For real, man. For real. I've been there. I I've been there, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, she's using me for sex, but she wasn't loving me. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. I've been used before. I've been there, man. I've been there. You know what I mean? I've been hurt by somebody in the past. You know what I mean? And I've been through stone. You know, I always feel played. But they, but you know what I'm saying? They don't love me who I am. They just love me for sex. That's, that's not love. You know? But now, Liberty is a guy being in, in trying to use you for sex. You know what I'm saying? And see, a lot of y'all females been through this with guys. But me, I've been through this with girls, man. Girls do the same thing, try to use me for sex. I mean, when I was when I was a teenager, break my genity. That was in eleven years old, and and now they walk away from me. I've been used, man. I've been used, and I was eleven years old, man. I've been used. I've been used, man. And just like, just like the man. Just like the man do the same thing, man. Man's man trying to use a girl for sex. Then want some coochie and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And girls trying to uh the women and the women trying to figure figure out why he want sex with me. Why I say the girl the girl probably say why why he want to have sex with me. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not relationship. This is not the uh. Um, you know what I'm saying? This is not this is not love. Let me tell you something, females. Let me tell you something. That dude trying to use you. That's right. The, the, the dude's trying to use you. That's right. He just used you for sex. He, he, he lying to you. He talking about he love you. He want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? You the, you, you the world to him. But he lied to you. He just want, he just want you some sex. And you know what's going on. And I see why I see why y'all ladies don't want to date with guys because you already know how the guy operate. You already know. I, you know what I'm saying? And that's why you're not stupid because you already know what he's going to do to you. You know what I'm saying? 
But let me tell you something. All guys are not the same. All, all men are not the same. All women are not the same either. But you just have to, we just have to be careful who you're dating with. You know what I mean? That's the stuff what I've been through when I was young. You know what I'm saying? They used me for full sex and it cut me off. It happened to me when I was a kid, man. You know, man's been through this with women, and the women been through this with man. It's like, like twist all the way around or something. You know what I mean? You heard me? It just happens. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it happened to, to y'all. You was a teenager. It happened to me when I was a teenager. I been there, y'all. I been there. I been there so much, man. And a part it tricked me out about that is that I saw all the dudes in the street using the chicks for sex and just moving on. And, and, and the chicks do the same thing with, with, with men. Even me. Why? Because I have a good heart. They know I'm a nice person. You know I don't do crazy stuff like dudes be doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know me. I don't. You, I'm not used to be walking around with pants falling down. I used, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember doing that stuff. You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? People think I have a good heart, and now they're trying to take advantage of me. You know what I'm saying? And see, this is what happened. If you be nice to people. And people trying to take advantage of you. You know. That's why. I not always be cool with people like that. Because. Friends. They're going to become your enemies. Relationship. Became your enemies. Don't get me wrong though. Now. You see. If people know. You have a heart. Trying to use your own heart against you. Abuse you and use you. I've been there. I've been there, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I've I, I been there to be used. I've been there when I was a teenager. You know what I'm saying? People think everything is hot. Trying to use people for sex. People think everything's hot. But it's not. But it's not. You know what I'm saying? I used to look at that way. I used to look everything this way. You know, but and I, you know, what I'm saying, and I open up my eyes. It's not hot. How you gonna use somebody for sex and move on with their life? That's not hot. That's not hot. People think everything's hot, but it's not hot for use anybody for sex and, and, and move on. It's like you cut people off. You know what I'm saying? You get with that person, and, and, and you and you get something to them. And, and just keep it moving. Jump to the next girl. Jump into the next man. Jump to the next girl. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 not hot. It's like you know, girls get with dudes, and she broke up with him. She get with the next dude. Same thing. Give with the next dude. They, she think everything's hot, but it's not hot. That's not fair. And see, that's the part I hate about females. Every time I date any females, talk about they love me, they don't. Every time I date with someone, they break up with me and jump to the next man. That's the stuff that just really turns me off. You know what I'm saying? That's wickedness. That's madness, man. That's madness. I just get sick of tired. I'm uh, seeing that one like this, man. You know? You know, I have a sister, she be doing the same thing. And I don't like the way she do. You know? That's not hot at all. It's not. They don't want to, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to be with you for you. You know what I'm saying? This guy you with, she don't, he don't want to be with you for you. He just wants your sex and he move on. That means he don't love you. He want to use you for sex. He don't love you for you. If he love you for you, he could have been be with you. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, same thing for women. 
bro, the women trying to use you for sex. You give all her money, she gonna give you all her coochie. And guess what? She dump you, go to the next man. She don't love you for you. If she love you for you, she coulda be with you. She coulda be with you. You see? Women's are like that today. So-called women like that today. Even men's too. Women even worse than men. And I'm just keeping it real. It's just sad. They're on all mine. They're all mine. They think everything's hot. You know what I'm saying? I I'm just getting sick of tired women's be look at the guy. Talk about, oh, he's cute and all that stuff. Oh, he ugly. Especially look on Instagram, Facebook. Every time they look at on Facebook, oh, he's cute, oh, he's ugly, and all that kind of stuff. I know, I know how they operate. Talk about, oh, he ugly, oh, he ugly. I'm, I'm so sick of tired seeing this. I'm sick of tired seeing this, man. I'm just getting sick of tired Negroes be on Facebook or Instagram and put dumps up on females just because you're on Facebook with half naked, you know what I'm saying? Now you know, y'all Negroes, you think a woman care about you. That woman ain't care about you. She want, she want you to worship her. She want you to praise her and all kinds of stuff. Oh, you looking beautiful and all that, all that stuff though. You want, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 that, that mean you worship her. She don't care about you. She never asked you for a number. Let's see, that's the stuff what I'm talking about. I used to have done that, but I'm stopped doing that because I know what's going on. Women want the man attention. The women want him to make her happy. Well, how come she ain't make you happy? You see, y'all Negroes are dumb and stupid. It's a shame, man. She don't love you. She don't care about you. She never think nothing about you. Why you add her on Facebook? You know what I'm saying? She probably seen you a a porno or something. That's what she sent to you. That's it. It does not mean that she gonna talk to you. She gonna send you a uh, a comp uh, a video comp whatever they call it. You know what I'm saying? Does not mean that she wants you. She don't want you. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. That's the truth, man. That's not love. They don't care about you. They just they just use you. You know? And it's sad, it's sad about women's man. They don't want no righteous man like me. They don't want no righteous man. They don't want no man who got the most high. And that was so sad. The world we live in today, all this women wants to be with Doug, goons. They don't want to be with Doug who smoke weed, smoking cigarettes, pants falling down. That's what she wants to be. So-called black woman, she want to be with a tall, hairy, dick man. Rapping, talking all the dirty talk, and he don't even have the most high. That means so called black women submit to wicked man, and that was so sad where we live in today. And you see all the pictures with a, with a man, I mean, a woman be with a wicked man, but she don't want to be with a righteous man who stay out of trouble. She don't want to be a righteous man, do the right thing, make a smart choices in his life. That's the one she don't want to be with. She want to be with wrong man, made evil, bad choices in her life. She made bad choices in her life. And that was so sad. That was so sad. Now, so-called black woman, she being abused by the dog man, and she still be with them. Sad, man. It's sad. See, that's why I cannot be friends with people like that. I can't even be friends with females like that. I not even be friends with anybody. It's just ridiculous. And I can't even be around my sister. She she be with 
the tall, hairy, dick man who don't have the most high and disrespect women's and, and do her real dirty. I say, sis, why you want to be with that man who use you for sex? Why you want to be with that man who's smoking a lot of weed and do all kind of thirst stuff on this earth? You crazy. He don't love you. He love you for sex. I, see, you see, you see, you see I'm, getting, I'm getting tired of seeing it. It just makes me go away, you know, and now she get mad at me. I said, you can't get mad at me because I'm, I'm, I'm taking a stand to speak the truth. And see, it really tells me you, 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 you submit to wicked man. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous to me. It's just ridiculous. Now, I have another issue is my baby mama, family, they want her to get back with a, a woman beater named Corey Kennedy. And that was, that, that's more than sad. So they want her daughter to get with this wicked man who don't have the most high. Lord have mercy. It's crazy, man. User, man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I be seeing all this in my life. It just, it really disgusts me. I seen it. I seen it all. I seen it when I was young. It just disgusting. It ain't nothing going to change. It ain't nothing going to change. It's just sad. It's just very, very sad. It just really just bros the most high heart. It's just sad. It just makes me look bad. You know what I mean? See, y'all people out there, you heard behind being used. You've been, you've been heard by uh, molester. You've been heard being abused. You put down talk. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? It is the truth. You know what I'm saying? And now I have haters be talking me down. You know I me. Mean? <laughs> now people be hating on me because I'm doing videos. And now I lose one of my friends because I'm doing video preach the gospel. You know what I'm saying? People be talked down on me. Even my best friend. Don't even cool with me that much. Every time I cool with my friends, he know he don't want to be bothered with me. You know what I'm saying? Every time I send videos to my homeboy and he get upset with me cause, just because Messiah is a black man. And he, 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 he do Bibles at me talking about Messiah is a Jew. You know what I'm saying? You know? I've been there. I've been there, man. And people just used to tell me, and now it's coming up, and the most high just come to my life. You know, I it's just they just look at me differently, you know what I'm saying? I come to the most high kingdom, people just look at me different, you know. And I gotta say this to y'all people. Those who been through a lot, it was a kid. Those who hold on things were, were abused, child molested, being used, and you know what I mean. Y'all need to y'all y'all need to be free, okay? Stop holding on to things too much, man. Because if you hold on to things, you miss out a good blessing. The Most High have a special plans in your life. He really does. Most high, yeah, he have a special plans in your life. He really does. But it is up to y'all. You need to let go and be free. That's right, man. The most high have a plan for your life. I know it sounds touchy, man. I know some of y'all look at my video, start crying. It touch you. It touch you. It really touch you, man. It really does, man. No matter what you've been through, you gotta let it go. Stop hating people who abuse you. You gotta forgive them. You had to forgive them. If you really love Messiah, you gotta forgive them. I'm not saying for y'all to get along with people that abuse you. I'm not saying none of that. I say you gotta forgive them and move on with your life. 
Forgive your mama who do you wrong. Forgive your daddy, your uncle, your cousin, whoever who do you wrong and do you real dirty. You got to forgive them. You got to forgive them and move on with your life. You don't need to be cool with them. You don't need to be or live with them. You don't need to call them. But you need to forgive them and move on with your life because the Most High Yah, He have a special plans in your life. He have a plan for you. And, and it's nothing they can do, nothing about that. Demons and Satan in a piss of hell can do nothing about that. Even your family, your friends, whoever, they ain't do nothing about that. The Most High have a plans in your life. He really does But God, it's up to y'all Y'all need to let it go In the name of Yeshua, man Let it go Stop being bitter Stop being angry I've been there, y'all I've been there, I've been there I've been abused I've been abused I've been there, man I've been mistreated, man Y'all been mistreated by somebody, man You gotta move on Stop thinking about it in the past, man Because Satan, let me tell you something The Satan, he wants you to suffer He want y'all to think in the past Because Satan want to destroy y'all But y'all, you need to let it go Y'all need to be free Y'all need to be free Y'all need freedom, man Be free by the Most High that's right. That's right. And I had to send this to all of y'all people, man. Those who love my videos. Those who, you know, know who I am. Doesn't matter. I'm sending it to everybody. Send this message to your family, friends, and your loved ones. This stuff is powerful, man. Take heed for this message, man. Keep it moving. Don't hold it on to things, man. Don't hold it on. If you hold it on to things, you're not going to have peace. You're going to be bitter. You, you're going to want to be envious. You're going to be jealous. You're going to, you're, going to be, you're going to blame things on other people. Don't. Move on. Forgive them and move on with your life. And guess what? The Most High has special plans in your life. He has some plans in your life. I'm telling you. He wants you to follow his kingdom. He want to renew your heart. Yes, he is, man. Yes, he is. Man, I know how it feels. I've been there, man. Look at me. I ain't never think about it in the past. I've been hurt just like y'all. Come on, somebody, man. Come on, somebody. And that's all I got to be saying, man. It's your boy, Jonah TV War. I'm just speaking truth with love, man. I love all of y'all guys, man. I love y'all. Don't go back in the past, man. The stuff that destroys you, man. Those of y'all being molested, those of y'all being abused, being used. Some of y'all got raped, man. I've been there, man. Been there. But you gotta move on. Winning year 2018, man. Come on, man. Why are you thinking, man? The most high have a special plans in your life, man. I'm telling you. And that's all I got to be saying. It's your boy Jonah. TB War. And I might send this message to um, one of my friends. But I might send this message to Facebook. But I'm going to send this message to Minds.com for other people to go and look at it. Because the stuff is powerful, man. And that's all I got to be saying. I'm out. Peace.